Hi, I'm Nicholas Culinary, and this is Teen News Network. Kiara Lindbergh did some work over at the Lemon Festival, so let's go check that out. I'm Teen News Network, and I'm here to welcome you to the Lemon Festival. about the Lemon Festival? Um, I like lemons, so that's a good one. And um, I like how everybody comes and celebrates a fruit. <laughs> it's really interesting, but it's also really cool and how everything is like related to lemons. Like, yeah. So, do you see any attractions here that you like at the Lemon Festival? There's a lot of stuff that I like, like um, that looks really cool. The bungee jumping. And the water hamster thingies. The hamster balls. Yeah, those are really cool. So, what are you looking forward to doing today? Um, I guess checking out the activities. Um, but I believe the department was asked by the city uh, to have a representative from the sheriff from the sheriff's department. Uh, and as you can see, there's other representatives here. There's the explosive ordinance disposal, which is commonly referred to as the bomb unit. There's us, the special enforcement team. And then I also believe that there's just a, a deputy or a patrol car uh, that Deputy Valadez brought out for uh, display. So why? Do you think that the Lemon Festival is such a great tradition? Well, you know, it started out many, many years ago a little different than what we see today. But uh, they've worked on many, many different approaches to it. And finally, they found a formula that works really, really well. And so this year, I believe, is the biggest year yet uh, for a Saturday in attendance. And there's so many things that the kids can do. They've got great, great rides that are, tend to be different every year. Plus, there's so many traditional things like getting lemon bars and a uh, lemon pie, you know, lemon meringue pie. I happen to have that in my bag here, so it's on its way home. So those are all long-standing traditions that are just wonderful. And I think people really, really respect that. So what's your favorite tradition? Taking a lemon pie and going home and eating it. <laughs> ah, so you like lemon meringue? I love lemon meringue, and I've done this every year. And so uh, this has been a very long tradition. I think it's been almost maybe 25 years or more that I've been doing this. 25 years? Yes. Wow, a quarter of a century. A quarter of a century, yeah, that says something about me, doesn't it? So what's something that you think could improve? Well, that's a hard one, you know? You know, one thing I think could be improved, maybe we could have some more coverings for the people because one of the things I see people looking for, especially when they want to sit down and eat, they want to do it outside the sun. So I think maybe some more pop-up tops, you know, something like that they can get under, get out from under the sun. I think that would be a good idea. That's very interesting. Make your cotton candy. So we have this, there's a sugar that we put in the cotton candy thing, and then with a little bit of heat and a spinner, that it makes the cotton candy. Interesting. Can we watch? So that's the Galita Lemon Festival. The next story is from the Harvest Picnic at Montessori Center School. It includes kids of all ages celebrating the harvest season. Hi, I'm Bella Kamani from Teen News Network. And I'm at the Harvest Picnic, which this is your first time going to. I'm guessing, correct? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I really like the cake walk. I think it's really cool because it gets kids being active and they can get a special treat at the end and it donates profits to the school. So I think that's really cool. And do you have any um, siblings or relatives who go to the school? Yes, I'm actually here because of my two cousins who go to this school and they love it here and the few times I've visited, um, it's been a really cool experience. Okay, that's awesome. 
awesome. So, have you? Okay, so you've done the cape walk. Is there any other activities you've done besides that? Yeah, um, I went over to the animal station and I had a tortoise and I saw some chickens and I've checked out all the stations like art and crafts and hair dye. It's really cool and um, yeah, the bounce house, everything is really great. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. I am here with the principal of Montessori Center School. So, what is your favorite part about the Harvest Picnic? My favorite part of the Harvest Picnic is seeing all the families come together and enjoy the school and forming a sense of community. And some stuff has changed here, right? Like, there was never that jumper over there. And, like, a lot of things have changed. So, what gave you the idea of changing? Actually, I can't take credit for that. It's the group of parents that works really hard to volunteer to put together this event. And they decide what activities to have. And every now and then they like to change things, so it's still interesting for the children. But all the credit goes to the Montessori Parent Organization, who's the one that puts together this event. It's okay. I'm here with Justin. Justin, and you go to Montessori Center in School? Yes. What door are you in? I am in Brown Door West. Awesome. Okay. What do you like most about the Harvest Picnic? Well, there's a lot of fun activities here, but my favorite's got to be the bounce house right here. Alongside the Lemon Festival, there has been more fruity excitement around Santa Barbara County at the Avocado Festival. Hi, I'm Kiara Limbrough, your host from Teen News Network. And I'm Michaela Weston. We're here today at the Avocado Festival where they have many wonderful opportunities for you and your family. Two people are here brimming with anticipation to come in. There are many awesome experiences here. Let's go check some of them out. Hi, we're back, and we're here with Andy Shaver. Well, it's a great, it's a, it's a really good festival. Uh, it's got a great turnout this year. We've got great weather. Um, we're teaching people about avocados. Hopefully, giving some good information out. How often do you do this? The festival. Yeah. Festivals once a year, usually the first first weekend in October. I heard that you were judging the guacamole festival tomorrow. I am. So wh what do you do there? Can people that are guests just come in? Uh, I think the guests have got opportunity to taste the guacamole uh, throughout the festival, different uh, different venues. Wow. Yeah. And you're judging? I am. So how many years has this big festival been going on? I believe this is the 28th or 29th. Uh, 20, I, you know, I should know that, but I think it's... Uh, it started in 1987, wow. so I think it's 20, 27 years. We're here with some of the Santa Barbara's biggest avocados. Do you know how big some of them are? Uh, the, the, the winning varieties this year were the queen variety, and, and they're just under four pounds each. Wow. Yeah. That's really heavy. It is. It's, it, when you consider the, the average avocado you get in the store is only about, uh, about uh, half a pound. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's really big. Do you look forward to entering any of these contests next year? No, I'm, I'm uh, happy just to uh, help where I can. Today we have a lady who's been working here for a very long time. How long? We've been here for 25 years. Really? Do you serve avocado ice cream here? Yes, we've been serving avocado ice cream for the past five years. For the past five years? What's your name? Alexa Quintero. Nice to meet you, Alexa. So, we're from the Teen News Network of Santa Barbara. And we wanted to know, what do you think is special about the Avocado Festival to you? Um, everyone gets together, and you just have a really good time. And family gets together, so. 
something that you like in particular about making ice cream? Um, not really. <laughs> Just serving the people. Thank you so much for your time. I did some work down at the ocean filming dolphins and all sorts of sea life, so let's go check that out. Thanks for joining us for Teen News Network. We'll see you next time.